Hello, welcome back to the Portworx Playboard session. My name is Ryan Warner, technical advocate here at Portworx. Today we're going to be talking about RPO and RTO. So, RPO, RPO, recovery point object, and RTO, recovery time object. They both relate to a disaster timeline and the disaster recovery plan that covers it. So, we're going to cover recovery point object first. Now, let's say we have a uh, application here that incurs a disaster somewhere along this timeline. And we have a latest backup somewhere around here. Now, this little timeline here, this little gap represents our RPO. And this also represents data loss. And what I mean by that is if your backup is every two hours and our disaster occurs one hour after that, you have about one hour of data loss. Now, if our recovery happens over here, so our application is back up and running, uh, again, this part of our timeline is our RTO, and this translates to downtime for your application and essentially your users, right? So your application might be down for, say, 20 minutes per se. Now, recovery point object is one of those things that depending on your application, you'll have to define what's appropriate for your application. So if you're in healthcare or financial, right, you might want a uh, zero RPO plan. And what this means is your downtime uh, in your data loss is has to be zero or near zero, right? So best case scenario, your, your timeline is right here, and your RTO also is right here, right? And so the way to achieve this is having a replication strategy for your disaster recovery plan to allow data to be always available in uh, both your primary and your DR site. Now, other applications right, may have a way to kind of restore data from a cold or metadata type of thing, and uh, you know, one hour might be totally reasonable. Uh, again, this depends on the application. And as far as RTO goes, right, this also depends on kind of your procedures and your automation for getting the application back up. Uh, in Kubernetes, the scheduler defines when an application gets started and how long it takes to come up. So, you know, the best case scenario is your data is available in uh, your DR site running Kubernetes and the scheduler turns on that application. So it's a matter of seconds to minutes before your application comes up in that site. So again, keep in mind both RTO and RPO and have a disaster recovery plan in place uh, with the correct data management tools underneath to support you. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.